Hey there, welcome back to Best of the Backroads. Today we are going to take a utility trailer and we're going to turn it into a trailer I can haul my motorcycles on. So let's get started. Okay, so what are we going to do today? We're going to take this utility trailer, put a deck on it. We're going to take and get a motorcycle wheel chalk on it for big motorcycles. And then I'm going to put a Black Widow pickup truck liner stop along the front for the small Trail 125 and Trail 90 so Sid and I can get out and ride. And yes, I know I should paint it first. It's 30 degrees and you really don't want to paint or I don't like to paint if it's colder than 50 degrees. It takes too long for it to cure and you just don't get a good paint job. Also, I'm going to need this carrier before I see a good long string of 50, 60 degree days to paint on. So we're going to go ahead and do this and then I'll deal with getting it painted in another video upcoming in spring. We'll just mask it off. It'll be fine. Let's get this usable right now. First thing we're going to do is I have one by six boards. Um, I'm going to measure that and drill them in and I've got to get it straight. And if any of you ever looked with treated lumber, it is never straight. So we're going to have to do a little, uh, a little wonky workout section as we get this drilled in. And then we'll, uh, we'll attach the other stuff. So now I've got all the holes drilled and carriage bolts pushed through and I just need to tighten the bolts a little bit. I'm going to use a little blue Loctite just to make sure they don't come undone as they rattle down the road. So now I'm going to jump under here and tighten some bolts up. Now I've got the bed screwed down, but it's not all the way screwed down. I still need to tighten it up some, but I'm going to put the other accessories on first. There's a chalk that's going to be also on the bed and I need to get that ready before I really tighten everything all up. And then we're going to put a Black Widow wheel chalk on the utility trailer. Trailer, And then we'll go back down and we'll tighten them again. In my transformation of this utility trailer to a true motorcycle trailer is we're going to mount this Black Widow chalk system. It's normally made for pickup trucks, but I think if I mount it up to the front here, it'll be a perfect place for a Honda Trail 125 tire or a dirt bike tire. A lot of times when I'm riding dirt bike with friends, that gives us an easy way to haul two motorcycles. It also gives us an easy way for Sid and I to go on adventures with our little Hondas. Just roll them up into the walk-up bed, put them in these chocks, two tie-downs. So I do need to drill a hole. I've started, let's see over here, I've started a little pilot hole here. So I'm gonna drill a big hole through there and then mount the, uh, the Black Widow bracket and then I'll mount it to, uh, to either sides to get this all mounted up. All right, the second pilot hole is drilled, and uh, now I'm going to drill into it with vigor. All right, guys, I just finished drilling the holes and installing the Black Widow tie down for pickup trucks. I think it's gonna work awesome. We're gonna try it in just a minute. I think it's gonna make a perfect wheel chalk for some Honda 125s or dirt bikes. The problem is I don't always just carry dirt bikes. I have a big GS and I put a Harley or a sport bike on occasion on this trailer and I want it to be my total motorcycle trailer solution. This is just a simple wheel chalk that we're gonna do. <coughs> but it's all disassembled. We're going to assemble it here. We got our cross beam, our base, um, rear wheel cradle, six bolts, eight washers, and nuts. It doesn't look extremely difficult to put together. As a matter of fact, it just kind of shows you how to do it. This goes like this. And this is gonna be how these get mounted. Let's pull off. This stuff right here, this looks like it goes right in here on the outside.
All right, the wheel chalk was pretty easy to assemble. It's just a cheap one. I'm not gonna use this every day or even uh, every other day. This is just to go pick up bikes and move them around. So a Harbor Freight or anything like that works well if it's not gonna be under heavy use. This one looks well constructed, goes together easy, barely even need instructions. We'll see how it works. I'm gonna finish up locking up uh, all the bolts and then I'm gonna mount them to the bed here. Then I gotta go down and refasten, and make sure everything is tight in the bed, which I think it is. And then we'll do a walk around and see what I did to turn this utility trailer into a nice new motorcycle specific trailer. Attachments are on. I did notice that I need to do some rewiring. Half the lights don't work. So I'm gonna get down here and add some new wires down here. You can see right there, they're old wiring. I'm gonna do some new wiring, walk it back, make sure the lights work and attach those and then kind of clean up and we'll be done and then we'll do a walk around. There we go, we're all wired and that is a much better loom. <laughs> this is the way I clean up some uh, shavings with this magnet. I'm gonna pull it out in just a minute and we'll load some bikes up for fun. I'm super excited about this project. It has been on my list for a long time. Not only does it let us use the pickup truck and haul bikes, multiple bikes in a safe manner, but with a walk-up trailer like this, Sid can easily load her own bikes, take her own trailer, and gives her a little bit of uh, independence on her own without having to load a bike up a sketchy ramp into a tall pickup. The other thing we added is a true big motorcycle chalk in the middle. And one of the reasons we did that is well, this is a great rack for small tires, dirt bikes, maybe the GS, bigger bikes, anything bigger than a, than a GS tire size, start being really hard to run up in between here. So if I use a touring bike like a Goldwing or a Harley Davidson Ultra Classic, or even if I pick up a sport bike that tends to have fat wheels, I want this chalk in here to just roll up on the trailer. It's winter, it's cold. We haven't been able to go camping on these motorcycles. So these construction projects keep me busy and keep my heart into motorcycling. It makes me so excited for spring and the ability to take bikes with us almost anywhere. Till next time, see you on the road.